So, Ignatius, you wanted to talk to me about pursuing a PhD in political science? Yes, Professor. I'm very interested in politics. Do you know that as a political scientist, you will spend very little time thinking about actual politics? Instead, you will be doing math all the time. Math that you do not understand and never will. Do you like math? I'm very interested in politics. Perhaps then you should pursue a career in politics. I'm too socially awkward. I would rather be a professor of politics. Then presidents and senators will seek my advice. No president or senator cares what political scientists think. We are totally irrelevant, but I'm good at school. I have important things to say. I think that political polarization is destroying our country. That's great. But now let me tell you what's destroying me. Do you like being around petty and insecure people who want to constantly show you how clever they are by telling you all about their latest regression discontinuity design to answer an irrelevant question that nobody cares about? What's a regression discontinuity? Do you want to spend years working on a paper so that you can get it in an obscure journal that nobody reads so that you can then get passed over by the tenure committee because you didn't publish in a journal that was obscure enough? I will solve important questions of politics. None of the important questions can be answered using the most rigorous tools of quantitative statistical analysis. The only questions we can answer are ones that nobody cares about. I'm very interested in politics. Do you want to spend all of your 20s in dark, dank computer labs running regressions while all your friends from college are working real jobs and getting laid? I don't know. What is it like to get laid? I don't know either. But with several colleagues, I've constructed a statistical model estimating that the expected utility of getting laid is high. It is based on a unique survey instrument that leverages a natural experiment. We are not sure about the external validity, but we think we can publish this in a journal. I'm eager to do my own research. You realize that, after wasting your 20s in a computer lab, you will never find a job teaching. The best you can hope to do is to go from postdoc to postdoc until finally a job opens up at Western Missouri State Bible College where you will teach mentally retarded hicks whose ability to survive to reproductive age gives their church leaders the proof they need that there is no such thing as evolution. I think I will enjoy teaching. I like when people listen to me. Nobody will ever care what you have to say, except for the three other people who work in your same narrow narrow subfield, and the only reason they will care is so they can contradict all of your findings in their next research paper. I will come up with big important findings about politics that will get me a dream job at Harvard. Harvard only hires super smart humanoid robots created in a lab at MIT. I'm sorry. I have to go. We have a department meeting that will last the next five hours. Then I have to hold office hours so that narcissistic 19-year-olds can tell me why they deserve an A+, and then tweet about how my arms are too long for my body and my torso is freakishly narrow. Thank you, Professor. This has been most enlightening.